uh, Andy, you think a guy who's only been here a year and a couple of months, a night, uh, a guy who's a budding superstar, you think it's normal or, or okay that he's done this more than a few times, or do you think it's alarming, disturbing? Um, it's bothersome uh, that it's happened more than one time. Uh, you hope that young players learn their lessons and that all they need is uh, is that one time where it gets your attention and, and you make the necessary changes in the way you approach your daily routine, particularly on a game day. Um, I'm going to hope that the fact that they lost a game 2-1, to one, a game that they could have won, a game that he could have been a difference, I hope that right. that really bothers him, that he let his team down. And I hope that this coaching moment, this teaching moment, uh, has the impact that it should have. Do you think his teammates his older teammates, the veterans who know what's at stake here, are they mad at him? Are they upset with him? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, you know, they had a good thing going. 14-0-1. They hadn't lost in regulation. Uh, they understood that uh, that this was going to be a difficult game, a challenging game, given all the circumstances, and that they needed everybody on board and doing what they needed to do. And um, you know, you hope that he wasn't just watching the game and having a good time and uh, just laughing this off. You hope that it had a major, major impact. And I think the players that have been around for a long time delivered that message as well. Well, do you think they went up and and went to his room? I mean, if you're in a meeting or breakfast and he's not there, I assume it's big. Big news, and the buzz is, you know, Tyler uh, is in trouble. Would you go up there? Would you expect captains, veterans to kick in the door and, and say, get your ass out of bed, we need you? No, no, I don't think that's what the situation was. Uh, and I'm trying to explain it as best I can that, uh, you know, they have a two-and-a-half, three-hour window to stop by and, and have a mandatory breakfast breakfast uh you know the, the idea of that being the most important meal of the day and this is the routine that you should be in on a game day that at some point you stop by you have breakfast you say hello to your teammates i don't think it was an official meeting we're going to start at 9 15 we're going to go over video i don't think that's what it was mm. it was just stop by make sure you have breakfast sign in make sure you stop by here this is the routine you should be in and i think he just never made it he never stopped by for breakfast and i think that's more of what it was than anything really severe. A few weeks ago, we were talking to uh, Andy Ferentz, and it was when the chicken and the beer in the clubhouse thing was going on, and we asked him about discipline and how the, the, the dressing room uh, with the Bruins, or hockey in general, is policed. And he said, he said, the great thing about this team is we have the right people in the right place saying the right thing at the right time to the people who need spoken to. So my guess is, if indeed this has happened in the past, last year, maybe part of this year, and he was, as you suspect, Brick, fined, my guess is he's already been talked to by certain leaders in that, in that, in that uh, uh, dressing room. No? Absolutely. Absolutely, and that's why he sat out last night. So it's Absolutely. worrisome that, that that hasn't gotten through to him, I would say. Absolutely, and I use the word bothersome. And uh, and until I hear from Tyler and, and, and have an explanation from him and uh, see how contrite he is or, or whatever adjective you want to describe, you know, uh, how, how bothered he is by the fact that he was unavailable because the coaching, uh, coaching staff and the organization decided that it was better off that he not even play in a hockey game. Right. So, uh, that's the most important reaction that I'm looking for here today, this morning on the plane, uh, when he gets back to Boston before we play on Thursday. That's what I'm most concerned about is the effect and the impact that it has on him. Sports Radio WEEI, now on 93.7 FM in Boston.